Welcome friends uh, to the lecture series of diode and its applications. Uh, so today we are going to learn about the clipper circuits and clamper circuits which are basically uh, an applications of PN junction diode. So what do we exactly mean by clipper circuits? That is uh, we can understand by that a wave uh, shaping circuit which controls the shape of output waveform by removing or clipping a portion of the applied wave. Let's understand how it can be uh, done. So basically here we can see that uh, clipping a portion of the applied wave that means whenever you apply some kind of alternating quantity to the particular clipping circuits then what it will do. So uh, for understanding uh, we can get some idea that for the first positive half cycle which is appearing across that PN junction diode and uh, that first positive half cycle will making the PN junction diode in to be a forward bias condition. So we can say that at the time of the forward bias of that PN junction diode the circuit will operate and it will provide you some kind of output but whenever uh, whichever the waveform uh, is making the, the PN junction diode into the reverse bias condition uh, we can say that, that at that time your uh, PN junction diode will not provide any kind of output uh, at the output terminals so basically it is a half wave rectifier is the simplest example it uh, clips negative half cycle but if we uh, apply the PN junction diode into the reverse condition then uh, it will be providing the a reverse half wave rectifier means the net positive cycle will be clipped off. So basically where this kind of circuits will be used so we can say that, that uh, radio receivers for communication circuits in radars, digital computers and other electronic systems. Uh, generation for different waveforms such as trapezoidal or square waves helps in processing the picture signals and television transmitters transmitters and television receivers or separating for separating the synchronizing signals form composite picture signals so these are the basic uh, applications uh, which we can use uh, for the clipper circuits so after that the, the how the classification can be done for the clippers so we can say that the, according to the nonlinear devices we can say that the diode clippers and transistor clippers uh, second is uh, by providing some kind of biasing so bias clippers and unbiased clippers and the third is level of clipping we can say that the positive clipping is there and negative clipping is there and both the combinations will also be there so these are the basic com uh, circuits the, that can be uh, formed using or these are the basic types which can be classified into uh, the clipper circuits so basically this is the thumb rule uh, mind well this uh, thumb rule is always useful for the any kind of circuit simplification so when diode is forward biased it acts as a closed switch that means in on state uh, we can say that uh, we can refer this diode as an a switch so for the switch whenever we want to turn it on it we will we need to provide the forward bias condition to the p injection diode and uh, whenever diode is reverse bias it acts as an open switch so it means that it is off straight and so we can say that uh, whenever we want to uh, switch it off we can provide some kind of reverse biasing to the p injection diode so this is the basic idea behind the clipper circuits and it will be useful for all the circuit uh, simplifications uh, referred to the clipper circuits. Uh, after that we can see that uh, connections uh, how a diode can be connected. So the, uh, here is a one figure that is showing a series diode configuration. Here we can see that the diode is uh, placed in series with the resistor. So uh, sorry, uh, pardon me, if the diode is placed uh, ser in series with the uh, supply. So that is the basic uh, series operation and uh, for the series operation we can say that uh, if the diode is ideally ideal then no voltage drop across over here. So whatever, whatever voltage drop will be there will be across this 
resistor only and uh, vd is equals to e vr is equals to 0 watt and id is equals to 0 ampere that is the basic idea uh, of this uh, uh, complete circuit and uh, we can say that uh, there are different kind of combinations can be there so for the uh, change we can see this also this is a one uh, uh, circuit that is having two different diodes both having uh, quantities of silicon so silicon diode we can say that but now right now we are not considering this diode as in uh, uh, what we can say uh, that is in uh, ideal condition so these diodes are uh, basically a normal diode so a voltage drop across each will be 0.7 volt here we can see that the 0.7 volt is provided over here and the VR that is uh, resistor voltage that is uh, 0.33 kilo ohm and so at that place uh, we can get the voltage of around of 9.3 volts if we want to find the current across here so we can basically find it out with this equation E minus VD divided by R equals to 10 minus 0.7 divided by 0.33 kilo ohm equals to 28 milliampere it will provide so basically the current uh, from both the uh, diodes will be of uh, 14 milliampere as we have seen over here as uh, because uh, both will share equal current uh, across each diode so uh, we can say that uh, 0.7 volt uh, is basically the normal uh, voltage drop across the normal silicon diode for each and every diode it will be 0.7 volt uh, I know there will be difference uh, kind of uh, in some point eight points uh, but it will not affect the whole quantity so we can uh, we considering that uh, each uh, diode will share a, an equal current through it so this is the basic idea and this is also called as the parallel configuration here we can see that there are two diodes uh, or we can say we can have some multiple uh, diodes over here also and we can have some clipping so this is the basically connection idea that is uh, giving you that is parallel configuration and the previous one was the series configuration uh, that is the third type of our clipper circuits so first type was series and second is parallel and uh, for the classifications we have seen uh, many of the uh, classifications uh, there are there were three different classification and the third one is this which we are right now discussing so after that uh, we can uh, go to the diode clippers the diode clippers what is the diode with a series clipper clips any voltage that is not forward bias it and the uh, thing where, which is being taken place at the circuit these two things are being taken place that is a reverse bias pro biasing polarity a forward biasing polarity less than 0.7 volt for a silicon diode so this is the basic idea about the clipper circuit and here we can see that a clipper circuit is provided so what exactly happened that is uh, this is our input voltage and the output voltage will be like this for the particular circuit provided over here and for the triangular wave uh, which we have seen over here so it will be like this uh, that is complete uh, triangular wave provided over here so this kind of uh, operation will be taken place at the output terminals so this is the one idea now the second step that is our bias clippers bias clippers means what that is uh, we are adding a DC source in series with the clipping diode changes the effective forward bias of the diode so that can be understood by applying some KVL so uh, referring to the bias clippers here we can see that this is the bias clipper circuit here we have introduced one kind of DC source that is our 5 volt now what happens that uh, this DC source that is 5 volt uh, which will be added to the output terminals uh, in this way see here we can see that the total amount of the voltage will be 20 uh, at the input terminals but whenever we refer to the output terminals it will be 25 volts why because the we are adding some additional DC source of 5 volt and it will be reflected over here we can see that this is the 5 volt which are uh, being added over here with the diode uh, so this is the kind of uh, example of bias clippers this is called as the bias clippers 
and we can also have uh, the configuration of parallel clippers also in this kind of configuration by providing both the this kind of uh, example is a series kind of bias clippers and uh, we can referring uh, refer this uh, type with the second type which we have earlier discussed in this video so this is the second type which we are right now discussing that is bias clippers now after that uh, parallel clippers uh, we can see that this is the basic uh, configuration this is the parallel clipper here we can see that this is the uh, diode which is being taken uh, which is being placed uh, with the parallel of the input supply and the uh, uh, from this condition we can see that the output will be uh, you know this kind of is a positive clipper type uh, why because whenever you assume this plus and minus over here what will happen that completely this uh, voltages will go over here and no output voltage will be provided so that's why this positive half cycle will be there but whenever the negative half cycle is there the diode will be open circuited and the whole voltages which are being given at the input terminals will be reflected to the output terminals here we can see this conditions uh, for this the for this bed, uh, particular circuit uh, DC biasing can be added in series with the diode to change the clipping level uh, that we have already discussed we can add, add some DC bias uh, by providing some kind of voltages uh, so these are the different types and uh, in, this diff, uh, in this type of different ways we can uh, use the clipper circuits here we can see that uh, each and every diode will have some different voltages and different voltage levels according to its uh, circuit configurations so this is the summary of uh, clipper circuits so how uh, like this way we can uh, get the output voltages here we can see this the clipping is, uh, is being happened at the is being taken place at the particular diode terminus and uh, for the particular cut of uh, this input signal which is being taken place across this diode and this voltage as we know that the voltage will, voltage will also provide some kind of resistance so uh, that is this resistance will be referred as uh, here and uh, we can say that the completely output voltage will be over here and this kind of output waveform can be achieved so these are the basic different types and we can see that this is simple parallel bias clipper this is bias parallel clippers ideal diodes we can say that because we are assuming that the diode is ideal and no 0.7 volt uh, drop a uh, dropage across this diode terminals so this is the basic idea about the clipper circuits and uh, how a clipper circuits can be formed and what kind of output voltage will be there uh, one more some more examples these are the series clippers for we are assuming the diode is in ideal condition and that means ideal diodes are placed in the circuit so bias series clippers and the output will be like this this uh, here we uh, here are some more examples these are negative clippers and these are positive clippers so you uh, from this you can have uh, some idea now what are the different drawbacks of uh, the clipper circuits that is uh, if the series diode clipper is there then when a diode is off there should be no transmission of input signal to output but in case of high frequency signal transmission occurs through diode capacitance which is undesirable uh, now uh, right now we are referring this thing uh, for the higher frequencies on only not for the lower frequencies so basically what uh, whenever we are using the clippers for the lower uh, lower frequencies then it's okay but for the high frequencies you, we need to take some care so uh, for the shunt diode clippers here shunt means the parallel clipping shunt means in parallel connection shunt word represents the parallel connection so when diode is off transmission of input signal to output should take place but in case of high frequency input signals diode capacitances uh, affects the circuit operation and signal gets attenuated so this is the basic uh, idea about the parallel combinations so both have some difficulties both have some drawbacks so we need to take care whenever we are uh, 
using this uh, this kind of circuits so after that uh, the one more uh, that application that is clamper circuits and what is the clamper circuits that is a diode and a capacitor can be combined to clamp uh, now here clamp clamp word represents that uh, a particular dc level uh, is introduced into the output circuit and whenever this dc level in is introduced it will bind the ac signal at some quantity or at some level and uh, that that uh, that is the main concept of this clamper circuit and this ac signal to a specific dc level here we can say that the diode and capacitor can be combined to clamp an ac signal to a specific dc level so that is the circuit and this at this kind of output waveform can be achieved at the output terminals here what the dc will do in this uh, case uh, now uh, refer to the capacitor see capacitor always stores its energy into the in the form of dc so uh, that means we can say that the capacitor is a dc device right so dc device what uh, uh, what is uh, happening in this dc device that uh, it will be in the pre charge condition and right now we are providing some kind of voltages so what happens that the voltages whatever will be applied over here the uh, for that uh, voltages the diode will be in the forward or reverse bias condition so due to this reverse bias or forward bias condition uh, it will provide you some kind of output voltages but also the dc level will be introduced into the output terminal so here we can say that the basically uh, out input waveform is provided but whenever you refer to the output waveform it will be providing a uh, double the output voltage or we can say a uh, amount of output voltage which is being summed up with the input voltages so this is the basic idea of a clamper circuit uh, uh, not that not these things that the start the analysis of clamping network by considering that part of the input signal that will forward bias the diode right uh, i think all of you are getting that the analysis need to be started from the point where the input signal that will be forward bias the diode uh, means uh, what it what does it mean that if the bi diode itself is not in uh, forward bias condition then no output voltage will be seen at the output terminal so that's why they are uh, telling us like this so during the period that the diode is in on state assume that capacitor will charge up instantaneously to a voltage level determined by the network assume that during the period when the diode is in off state Uh, capacitor will hold on its established voltage level keep in mind the general rule that total swing of total output equals to swing of input signal so whatever the input voltage is which you ever you provide at the input terminals the capacitor will be charged up to up to that level and that voltages will be added uh, to the output terminals uh, or we can say at the output Uh, will be summed up with the input and it will provide you a uh, double the voltage of input at a particular cycle so the signal can be any type of waveform such as sin square and triangle waves the dc source lets you adjust the dc clamping level so this is the basic idea see here we are getting 30 voltages at the positive off cycle and the only 10 voltages at the negative off cycle and that is all being due to the this uh, particular circuit and dc level which we have introduced over here and also another dc level which is being introduced by the capacitor so if we apply some kind of kvl to over this uh, circuit then we can get the basic idea and how uh, the 30 30 voltages will be achieved at the output terminals can be understood so that is the basic idea Now, referring to some different kind of uh, clamper circuits uh, which are shown is shown here and these are the uh, main circuits which uh, which you can face at the time of uh, uh, electronic circuit simplification so these are the input signal and for this di different different circuits what kind of output voltages will be available 
is being shown over here. So this is the basic idea and uh, uh, right now uh, up till this we have considered all the clipper circuits and the clamper circuits possible combinations. So I hope you all of you getting all the idea about the circuits. Uh, uh, friends do not uh, forget to subscribe my channel. Uh, also you can like and share with your friends. Thank you. Thank you so much.